So I literally just opened the Gerber Armbar Scout here, and I wasn't going to do a video on this until I took a look at it and decided to grab my camera and my other armbar multi-tools here from Gerber. And I wanted to share my first impressions on the Gerber Armbar Scout because I've been so hard on the other armbar tools that I own. And initially, just taking this out of the box, it seems to be a little bit better than the two tools that I have right here. And I'm talking about the Gerber Armbar Drive. If you guys saw my video review I did a few years ago on this, you're gonna know I absolutely hated this multi-tool. In my opinion, I think it's absolute trash, but I'll tell you exactly why in just a bit. And this is the Gerber Armbar Slim Cut. I never did a video on this just because sort of sick of doing videos on Gerber and getting let down by these tools. Only because I have such high expectations every single time, I'm not exactly sure why because I'm always let down every time I take them out of the box. And that's especially true for the Gerber armbar drive. I think I'm really hard on this tool because I was expecting so much out of it. I was actually very excited for this because it had the tool set that I was looking for. And then once I got my hands on it, everything was just so garbage. There is literally no locking mechanism. This is supposed to be a slip joint. And this is so weak and loose. Using this drive right here, you basically can't use it. The only way to functionally use this driver is to turn it like that and to use it as a driver like this, which it does work, but sometimes I just can't do that. Sometimes you need that extra length and it should be able to be functional in this position, which the tool that I have right here just isn't. Maybe I got a bad one out of the factory. I don't know, but you guys can see there literally is no slip joint. And if I give you a close up here, you can see that rounded edge right there in the driver. You can see when it locks in, well, it's supposed to lock in right there. It just doesn't because there's nothing really locking into that spring right there. And now let's take a look at the armbar slim cut. So it looks like they tried to alleviate that problem a little bit right there by, let me see if I can show you, they sort of gave us a tip right there to catch on that spring. But you can see, look at that, there is a little bit of an attempt to lock in right there on that spring. It's still not good, granted, but it's, not non-existent like on the Gerber armbar drive here. So yes, this is much better. Um, for the scissors though, you don't really need this to lock in. Yes, it would be nice for it to lock in, but on the slim cut, there's only scissors, a blade, and a bottle opener. So this is very, very minimal. And the blade itself does lock in. There is a frame lock for this blade, so that's nice. But if I show you the scissors here on the Gerber armbar scout, you can see if I get this to focus, right there, so you can see they squared off that point right there, so where it catches onto that spring, it actually locks in. So right there, you can see it is a much better lock on that spring than either one of these two other arm bars that I own. So that all by itself is a step in the right direction. Now, the Gerber arm bar slim drive I never purchased, only because of how much I disliked the armbar drive. I didn't want to waste my money on the slim drive, so I got the slim cut instead. You guys know I love my multi-tool scissors, and I'm not disappointed with these scissors at all on the slim cut here. Spring action scissors, they work relatively good. So if I have this leather lace here, you can see cuts very nice. Not a problem with these scissors at all. But the scissors here on the armbar scalp feel so much better that spring is a lot tighter. And look at this, just blowing through this leather lace here. So that's another win for the armbar scout, even over the armbar slim cut. So let's take a look at some of the other tools here on the armbar scout. So it has seven tools. So there's your plain edge right there. It's kind of hard to see because it's all black. And just like all the other armbar tools, it does have a frame lock, which locks into place. So that is nice. And right here, you have the saw, very sharp saw. Now the three tools that I use the most on multi-tools are a saw, scissors, and a plain edge blade. So once again, when I saw Gerber was releasing a multi-tool with those three tools on there, of course I'm a sucker, I had to get it just to see if it's any better than this Gerber armbar drive. And once again, guys, this isn't necessarily a review. It's more of a first impressions, and I wasn't even going to do this video, but first impressions are pretty good 
on the armbar scout. And the other tool right here, that is your, let me get in the light, that's your can opener slash package opener. And if I put all these back in there, look at the bottom, there's your other tools right here. There's your hammer. Once you open it up, that's your bottle opener slash prior. Now this tool works fairly well as a three-in-one. We saw the same thing on the Gerber armbar drive the hammer, bottle opener, and nail prior. And generally, I cringe a little bit when they start combining multi-tools in one. I mean, for example, this can opener slash package opener right here. I mean, you could basically use this for anything. If you guys always wanted an EDC butt scratcher, yeah, it does that too. I mean, you can use anything as a package opener. I mean, for God's sake, use the freaking straight edge blade right there as a package opener. We don't need to use this as a package opener. So that's a can opener. And then the blade right here can be used as everything else cutting related. But my point is I do like this as a three in one just because it does have some functionality and it works fairly well. So let's test out some of these tools real quick. So let's test out how sharp that blade is right out of the box. Now this is a pretty thick cardboard. So yeah, it's a pretty thick cardboard, cut it fairly well. Just, let's just use this piece of paper right here. Usually Gerber, it's pretty sharp right out of the box. Now, this is pretty sharp, but it could use a little sharpening. Yeah, this is sharp, but it's not razor, razor sharp like I'm used to. I already demonstrated the scissors on that leather lace. That should be good enough for now, but let's test out that saw. And you can see the saw has that same squared off edge right there that catches onto that spring. So. I really wish they would have did the same thing on the rounded edge right here of the drive on the Gerber armbar drive. I talked about that so much in my other videos, but let's test out this saw. So this is a fairly thick piece of wood here. And yeah, so if I had a smaller branch, probably would be able to demonstrate that a little bit better, but you can see this is an old dead piece of wood here, kind of hard to cut through, but it's pretty good. If it was a small branch, this thing would cut right through it. I sort of wish this was a little bit longer. I love the saw on my Leatherman Wave. For a saw on a Gerber armbar product, it's very, very nice. Oh, and I almost forgot, look, it comes with a pocket clip. Something the armbar drive and the slim cut were sorely missing. So that is a great addition right here, just having this pocket clip. It's not deep pocket carry, you can see it's about a little over a half inch from the edge right there, but still has a lot of tension on it. This is a nice pocket clip. So guys, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but the Gerber Armbar Scout does have some potential. Yes, I prefer locking tools to either detents or slip joints, but this is decent. I can work with this, especially with just scissors or a can opener or even that saw. It seems to work fairly well. But this is a step in the right direction. Gerber, go back to the drawing board. I probably said this in my video a few years back. I don't remember. But go back to the drawing board and when you release the Gerber Armbar Drive 2, make sure you put this driver on a lock. Or at the very least, a super strong slip joint. This is unacceptable, and even the scissors here on the armbar scout are leaps and bounds above the driver here on the armbar drive. Now this is the most expensive armbar that I have to date. This is 50 bucks. I believe I paid 45 for the armbar drive, and I believe I paid 40 for the slim cut. So guys, what do you think of the new Gerber armbar scout here? Let me know in the comments below if you plan on picking one up. And if you did pick one up, let me know your thoughts. Oh, and if you do want to pick one of these up, I will put the link in my description box where I picked it up. I just got it from Gerber. I believe they have them on Amazon too.